Hey friends, everybody, how you doing? Creating round tree. Hey, I want to tell you. Oh, I want to tell you something. I just got back from doing some line dancing downtown, and it got me thinking. I got to thinking about when I was a youngster, how I got into chainsaw art. Now, a lot of you city slickers might not know what that is. It's when you take a chunk of wood, use a chainsaw, and you make something out of it. Now, I happen to have some, I happen to have some chunks of wood here. I think this is a maple. I got me a chunk of maple right now. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make it something that it ain't, it ain't normally supposed to be. Now, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I can't hear, I'll tell you how that came about. I had a, I had a relative when I was a kid that, uh, I had a relative that when I was a kid got into the fine art of logging and they finally got into doing some, some fancy artwork with a chainsaw and, uh, well, they became a logger. They they got chainsaws on both sides and tattoos and and uh, chewed Copenhagen, Copernope, and uh, Red Man and all that, and uh, climb up the trees and cut them down and slice them and dice them and and I finally I got got to wondering and so I asked. I said, Aunt Thelma, how is it that you've done that for so many years? And she said, Well. She started when she was a kid. Her grandma taught her how to do it. So she passed on some tips to me. Now, I want to tell you that this is not a safety video by any means, but you're going to have to make sure that you do have some sort of safety equipment. I don't have my gloves. I left them in Nampa, Idaho. And uh, I haven't gone down and got any more. So yeah, anyway, I've got a still. And I think I've gone over this before. You can say steel. It don't matter. It's orange and black and it kicks ass. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a, my steel chainsaw. I'm going to take this chunk of wood. And I'm going to show you a little bit of how to do it. Now, I've got all the safety features only because I don't have my, my regular boots. But I do have my motocross stuff. So I'm going to make that work. So as long as you don't cut your toes off or cut your slice into your ankle or anything like that, which I've done. When I first started out, oh I must have been eight or nine, I, I ran a chainsaw right across my foot. And uh, I went to the hospital, grandma took me to the hospital and probably one of the nicest nurses I ever met, Rochelle. It's a great nurse. He just wore a little too much makeup, too much red rouge and red lipstick, and 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 that's fine. It, it didn't bother me, but I finally got to a point. I said, I asked him. I said, Rochelle, how long have you been a nurse? And and he said, Oh, about six years. So, and I asked him. I said, Have you ever seen anybody that had a, an injury such as bad as mine when I ran across that chainsaw across my leg? And he said. The only, the worst thing he'd seen was a fellow ran a chainsaw across both feet and cut off all ten toes. And it got me thinking, I'm pretty lucky. I'm a lucky man, that's for sure. Because that didn't happen to me. So anyway, we're going to get this started. So hang tight.
I just hope it. I hope you like that. It's uh, just something to knock out. Fly high, American Eagle. Fly high. Don't be a turkey. Be an American Eagle and fly high. I didn't have my veg around, but thank God I'll tell you right now. We made her out. We made her good. So, a little something for you. I'll tell you what. You got to make sure that you got some safety gear. Have at least a little something because... You mess with these bad boys, that's a farm boss, and it ain't no joke. So remember, make sure that you're always safe. You should have gloves. Anyway, I'm going to try a little something here. I'm going to I'm going to try a little something I've never tried before. And we're going to see if we can get that going. Uh, I'm going to try to open this bottle up. I've seen them do it. I've seen the fellas do it on TV. And I don't know. I don't know if it's... I've seen the, the lumberjacks do it. I'm going to try it. See if we can get that sun going to open up. It's a Nesbitt strawberry. Try it out. Yeah, we can do it. If them YouTube fellows can do it, I guarantee we can do it. Mm -mm -mm. So, remember, someone's always watching when you sleep. Be good to yourself and be good to each other.